I've told a great many secrets, tis true. Beyond this door lies the Holocron Vault. The Holocrons contain the most closely guarded secrets of the Jedi Order. Welcome to another episode of Tales from the Holocron Vault. Oh yeah, that is the name of the show, isn't it? It's going to be an interesting night because uh, we got a timeline to do. And I'm joined by my co-pilot, the, the man with the wonderful lightsaber of love. Uh, everybody knows him as Solo's Wookiee. Uh, hey Solo, tell everybody hi. How's it going everybody? Good to be here. And straight out of the 501st, he's, uh, well, one of the original Bad Batch members, I guess, because he's a Leaky Trooper. Uh, hey, Leaky Trooper, say what's up. Hey, guys. Good to see you. Good to be here. Okay. So, uh, so I'll let you actually get into this because this is an episode that you've said, hey, could you could you do it? Uh, I think we need it done. And uh, I'm like, wow, it's really long and boring. Uh, but I, people don't think it is. So tell them what we're going to do tonight. All right, so I came up with this. Um, I hear it misreferenced quite often, and I, I myself have misreferenced it a, a great many a time because it's super easy to do. And I thought, why don't we try and give a better description of a timeline for Darth Maul? One of the, the movies, the books, one of the most beloved characters of all time, um, shows up, gets killed, disappears, comes back. We see all these transformations, and he's current through so many um, cartoons, TV series, movies, um, you know, and, and comic books. He shows up everywhere. And part of it is because w when they first killed him, then I think they kind of went back and went, oops, that was a mistake. Everybody loves him. We should really have planned this better. And because of the way the storyline and timeline works out. So it's really easy and and confusing the way that it, it worked out for, for Darth Maul. Um, after we see him in the first movie, Episode 1, Phantom Menace, when he dies, you don't hear or see anything for a long time. And then all of a sudden he just comes up. Everyone assumed he was dead. Um, and, and rightfully so most normal people, when you get cut in half, you don't come back from that. Yeah, That's kind of an end game. <laughs> and, and yes, and he does one of the all time star Wars cinematic repeats that we, that we all are familiar with. You throw him down the shaft. So <laughs> he's falling down the shaft, falling apart. We were all sad because we fell in love with this, this great new villain. But it did give us a lot of opportunity for a lot more input. Now, for some of the, the lesser Star Wars fans that enjoyed him and really followed some of that, they tended not to watch a lot of the Clone Wars or a lot of Rebels or, or get into the deep dive of the comic books. And so you all of a sudden, the next time you see him, He's sitting, you know, as a hologram on the movie Solo, and everyone went, whoa, what I miss. So I thought, you know, we really should try and describe a little more of the who, what, where, why, how, and timeline, um, his multiple different legs, body attachments, um, taking over Dathmir, or not Dathmir, I'm sorry, uh, Mandalore and and run yeah and running with those guys and it, it just giving a better solid timeline may help iron out some of the kinks for for not only our viewers but for, it, for me as well I love Darth Maul I read avidly about Darth Maul I collect a lot of Darth Maul I still have trouble figuring out the timeline because it gets so chopped up yeah, so um, I agree. So the Han Solo movie, which I really enjoyed, and I think uh, a lot of people have warmed up to that movie, threw a kink in it. It did throw because the timeline didn't seem like it's set up, but we're going to get into some stuff that makes it work out, uh, which is fine. Uh, but he is like the Boba. You know, we talk about this a lot. Uh, Star Wars keeps the thing about Star Wars, and you can complain about it all you want, but it's a lot of repeat, right? So like it repeats over and over and over again. 
Uh, mm -hmm. And this is the Boba Fett issue, right? You right. put Boba Fett there, and then now you have to do all this backstory, and then you got to try to figure out the timelines. And I think they've learned from doing that originally, <clears throat> sorry, originally in the original series, and how they had to erase some of the Dark Horse and some of even the early Marvel stuff, and then redo his whole his whole story on what they should mm -hmm. probably do. We will get into it. It is difficult. I'm going to start off with, I think the best way to do it um, is just tell you, if you don't want to know about Darth Maul, whatever you think you know, if if there's something you don't want to know, <coughs> I'm going to tell you his, I'm going to tell you it all. So if, if you don't want something spoiled, just please, um, please don't uh, watch. Uh, maybe we'll, put down in the notes. I highly doubt we're going to do this, but maybe we'll put down the notes timelines. You know, where, yeah. Just sit and watch and wear earmuffs and don't listen. Just sit and so, watch and hit the like button and hit the subscribe before you turn it off. <laughs> so here's the first, here's the first earmuff part. And then I'll give you a thumbs up when we're done with it. Is, Spoiler um, packed. Is yeah. What this and really you're, you're probably only going to be spoiling rebels. I mean, Oh, uh, well, no, some of the, well, so we, we, right here's the spoiler. So here we go. We know his lifespan. We know his lifespan is from 36 BBY to 2 BBY. We know that it, that's it. That's the, well, maybe he could have been 38, but still, we know that's the timeline for him. So we will start out at the beginning. Very good. And what the funny part about it is, in is the beginning, yeah, in, in the, the beginning, beginning, they actually use a non canon picture. So this is out of one of our favorites. We talk about it uh, in our legacies or no, in our uh, Tales series. This is a picture out of Tales 25. Which is, uh, if you've watched the Tales series, it's the one that has got the, um, it's got Nihilith in it. It's got um, this storyline of him as baby Darth Maul or kitty Darth Maul. I think we make a joke about it. Um, and it's got the, oh, Fet Club, because everybody loves Fet Club. Right. Uh, it's got Fet Club in it. But the, the funny part is, when they start telling the story chronologically in order, in which we're going to do, uh, not time-wise, but chronological. This picture shows up twice. This picture shows up in the Darth Maul series back in, what, 2017, the one that has Cad Bane's first appearance in it. And mm -hmm. he's hunting down some stuff. We'll get into that. But it also is in the old um, the old Republic books they just pushed out in 2019 where they did all those, the Old Republic, New Republic, Different Republic, Resistant Republic, 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 Republics. <laughs> that line um, in, in that one, too, the Darth Maul story. So wait, here, wait, wait. You're saying there's a republic? Well, or is it what was it? Where were they all called? I can't remember. There's like <laughs> Age, of republic, yeah. Age of the Republic. Yeah, Age of the Republic. It was yeah. Age of the Republic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in there, there's a Darth. There's a Darth Maul one, and the, they use the same picture. They use actually a couple things in there, uh, timeline to try to to even solidify it. But they use this picture again. Um, they use actually, I think, almost the same wordage and verbiage too. And this is Palps when he first finds them. So Palp, and uh, they do cover this a little bit in Clone Wars. Palpatine goes to uh, Dathmir and he originally feels like a dark side of the force and kind of the witchery down there. So he's like trying to hit up Mother Talison. Uh, she's the little witch lady with the red on it. Hopefully we'll edit a picture in there of that. But Mother Talison, she thinks that like she could be a dark disciple for him. It turns out that instead he feels it with Darth Maul, who has two brothers, Savage and F Feral. We'll get into those guys later. One of them is yeah, not so Savage and Press and the yellow one. And uh, Feral. Feral? Yeah, Feral. Feral's, a, Feral's tan, I think, and kind of weakly. Either way, so... Um, the weaker he, of the three brothers. Yeah, the weaker of the three brothers. He ends up going in there and uh, seeing potential in him, and then he does the little thumb thing in here, and he's like, hey, uh, you know, you're going to grow up to to be something. Part of the training that now, he does... Now, wait really a minute. The second picture is tattooed baby mall. And the first picture is Baron non-tattooed. Okay, so yeah, they actually covered that. Okay, yeah, so this is the this is the the first picture's tails. So this is non-canon anymore. They actually covered that later on, either in the book. No, they didn't. They covered it in Clone Wars. Uh, Mother, so they made a point of mentioning that very young he ended up getting his tattoos. Mm -hmm. So right mm -hmm. before this, right before he, before Palps did this, he got his tattoos. So they ended up, ended. Up, that in the art you gotta remember when they were doing the clone wars series when this actually came out i think it was either season two or three somewhere around there it was in the earlier seasons that they yep. had already this comic book had come out many years later uh yep. so you know you're talking three four years later so they had already prefaced some of the storyline canon wise um or chronologically too but I, yeah. tattooed ones are now the canon versions uh mm -hmm. like i said you can find that i think that's in book one of darth maul it might be book three 
I think it's one. And the other one is in the uh, Resistance Republic, that line with the Darth Maul book. Uh, one other thing that happens in both of those books is when he's younger and uh, they talk about this and it's kind of cool and weird, but the, Palps takes, <laughs> takes them to a Sith, an old Sith temple, which actually, this is going to be important later on, but uh, he sniffs he sniffs like Sith ashes uh, as part of his training. Uh, so now, feel... were they Sith or were they Jedi? No, it was Sith. So the Sith were killed by the Jedi, uh, and they definitely covered okay, that. Okay, I think in both right. books again that's too, right. but I think they really get in depth in it in the Age of the Republic book. Um, but yeah, so when he does that, he sees a couple of visions. One of the visions he has uh, through they'll go through the Mall book first is like there's a family of. He's got a family, and he's a Jedi, and he thinks he's a Jedi. Um, but then, uh, and we've, we've used a picture and other things, but then at the end, he feels like all the Jedi are going to kill him, and he feels trapped or whatever, and it gives him this instant of rage, and Palps likes that. Uh, but what he also does is he tells him, like, you've got to be secret Sith, right? You can't, we can't reveal you. So this is the secret Darth Maul period. Nobody knows that the Sith are back. Nobody knows Darth Maul's a Sith. Nobody even knows of Darth Maul at this point. But what Darth Maul does is he's like, man, I'm so angry with the vision of being a Jedi and everything else that I need to go out there and I need to kill myself a Jedi. Uh, so he starts stalking a Jedi in a Padawan. Palps figures out about this and is like, that's not part of your training. If I catch you doing it again, I'm going to kill you. So he stops doing that. And then he starts going into like killing these things two or three at a time, hunting and stalking them. Um and more through that Darth Maul series, if, if you know what the Darth Maul series is about and why he hires uh, Cad Bane and stuff, the reason why he does it is because there's a Padawan that's up for auction. And he ends up stealing the Padawan against a bunch of uh, the cartels, which is funny because eventually he takes over those cartels, as we know. Uh, but he steals it from a bunch of the cartels, like the Pikes and them, and ends up uh, fighting with her because the cartels hunt him, but then ends up killing her in the end. Spoiler alert. Sorry, spoiled. So, uh, <laughs> Palp then tells him, like, hey, listen, love the anger. Love that you're mad. Love the dark side. Love it. Love mm -hmm. it. By the way, if you would have got caught, I would have killed you. And don't do it again or I'm going to kill you. But great what you're doing about. there, I love it. I love it, baby. Love Give it. me more, but only at my command. <laughs> Love so, I mean, we're, so we're looking, I mean, we're looking, so we're looking at, uh, right before that is right, probably in, you're looking at like 30, between 34, 31, right before 32 BBY. So 32 BBY before the Battle of Yen, that's where we're looking at right now. It's there. Then all of a sudden we have Phantom Menace, uh, which is right at 32 BBY in Phantom oh. Menace. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so uh we got we got phantom menace at 32 bby we got the oz him coming in in the speeder thing there's a couple like jokey stuff in books that it, back in the dark horse ones make a couple jokes about that and actually even some of the current ones they have like little cartoonish things to talk about him coming in in the speeders there's also references in the uh, spin-off Lego stuff, which is completely awesome. Like if you've ever seen those before, especially the voice, I think that's why my son fell in love with them because we used to show him the Lego things and Darth Maul's voice is hilarious in that. Just watch oh, yeah. it, 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 you know, where he's like, awesome, awesome. And he builds his own <laughs> Death Star planet. That is not canon, by the way, and doesn't have anything to do with the timeline. Just funny to watch, so watch it. Um, but yeah, so get back to timeline. So we got 32, then he falls down into the hole, probably around 32-ish, right? Yeah, probably 31. Mm -hmm. Somewhere around there, 32, 31, he falls down into the hole. And we don't see him for a while. He pops back up, actually in Vader's Castle, which I know we've talked about and how much we love it. Uh, in that Vader's Castle yeah. series where the kids are going yeah. down to the planet and they get dropped at the planet. Uh, he ended up forming himself spider legs. Well, no. First, he starts a snake body. He has a big, long, metal um, kind of – it's a snake. It's like a big serpent body and for his bottom. And it's just junk piled together, put together on top of each other. And it just was junk on top of junk made with junk. And then he, he reforms his junk to get into a spider body. Well, that was also because wasn't he – because he will talk about it 
later in the next portion. But so we got Vader's Castle. Uh, obviously, we've covered that before, but definitely that's another reason to get those. And one of the coolest covers. Uh, I mean, here you go. You got him in his the back portion. See, I'm not sure if it was a spider, a snake body. I think it was just like the length of him, and then he hadn't added the tentacle arm type situation, which still didn't make 100 percent on how he got that all to work. Maybe through the force, but like, how are you controlling it? Like, that's a lot of force to be using. But he's really powerful, I guess, so so that works. Um, so you get that through Vader's castle. Then the next step, we take a step back, and we go back into Clone Wars again. And in Clone Wars, Mother Townsend is like, hey, listen. Uh, okay, so real quickly, if you didn't watch if you didn't watch our episode on uh, Vader's castle, somebody does send kids down there to go uh, attack Maul or whatever because Maul sends out the signal. Maul he's, jumps up. He's a, they don't know what he is or who he is. He's just this creepy ghost in the tunnels underneath the. Oh, what's the planet? Why am I brain farting? Uh, I think Lothamar, more the minor, Lotho minor, Lotho minor. minor. That yes, and so it's just a junk planet, very reminiscent of what you see in Thor Ragnarok, where they find Hulk. It, it's very much that that trash area looking, but the whole planet's like that. Yeah, it's and, just a dump off area. And and so he's somehow is in under there, um, and, and forms uses the junk. Yeah, put, form puts his body together. So he so almost gets a big question for you guys. Yeah. Um, when you were mentioning Vader's castle, and is what you just said about Darth Maul is that? On the planet with Vader's castle, or is that somewhere else? No. So how Vader's castle covers? It's a bun, It comes out every Halloween. It's going to come out this next one too. It's a mini series. There's Vader's castle, then Vader's revenge. It, it was Scott who did him, right? Yeah. He always wanted to do a Halloween special, so mm -hmm. it's supposed to be kind of like a horror special in small tales or small one shots. So like in it, they always do like a one shot story, and usually it's somebody in Vader's castle telling the story. So they're doing oh, something there. They're trying okay. to find Vader. I, oh, I don't think we ever answered that question. So kind of like the Simpsons. No, I don't think we did. Right. Yeah, 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 a lot, cool. a lot yeah. like the Treehouse of Horrors. Yeah. Treehouse of Horrors. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So That's why the Mustafar threw me because I know uh, Vader's castle was on Mustafar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So sorry. that's it. Yeah. So that so some I think in no great think, question. That is a good question. I think it's uh, his. Uh, so Vader had like a servant, and I think it's the servant that tells a story. Is it right? I think maybe. Like I would Uber, right? <laughs> yeah, no, really, yeah. Like it, it's like um, one of the Sith, uh, like the guys you saw in the last movie, but kind of for Vader well, before that would happen. Um, uh, no, isn't this one? This one in this tale, isn't this the general that's well, maybe. running around that gets captured, oh, and right. then the servant, Vader's servant, is actually torturing him, and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. If somebody tells a story, I can't remember who it is, but yep. I think it's in that, yep. that, that line. So I think that's he's, tell, he's telling, you're right. No, the servant is telling the story to the, the general that he captured. Yeah. Yeah. I, yes. Cool. cool. Yeah. So that's cool. So that's cool. But then how does he get off that planet? I guess is the next step. And that is the next step. So then we go to Clone Wars. Um, he so actually in that book tricks the kids and gets on the ship. You're right, but then remember how they got rid of them? They ended up blowing up the ship and sending them back to the planet. And oh, you're right, you're right. At the very last panel, they do. You're so right. then, what happens right. after that is, <laughs> is Mother Townsend's like, I can feel him. He's over here, and she sends Savage Oppress to go pick him up from this planet that we just mentioned, which is Lotha, whatever minor. Yeah, Lotha minor. Um, yep. so she sends him there and that's around th three or four years after he's already been on that planet. So we're looking at like 28, 27 BBY at this point, 26, we'll just say for fun. Um, and when he's there, uh, there's a snake now that there's like this Lance thing that Darth Maul's kind of doing a mind trick, but also using him to get food and they're like benefiting each other on that. And he's really crazy. He's off his it's a good episode because he's really, really crazy, which you see him yeah. crazy again, but he's, he's really crazy. Joker crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looney Tunes. Yeah. Um, Is it like Ben Gum Treasure Island isolation that drove yeah. him? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Pretty much in the snake. And then so then Savage. Well, and his his that's that's another good point, is that it's also his vengeance and rage. Mm -hmm. He he is very angry at the Jedi. 
He's very, he wants Obi-Wan. revenge. He, I, he, yeah, he's, he's especially Obi-Wan. Mm-hmm. Um, and now he's really sat and, and thought himself into a deep rut that he can't seem to get out of with just his rage, his Sith rage. And, and it's drove him mad because he wants that instant gratification of revenge. And, right, and, I guess. And but at one brave. point, I th- at one point, I think in the show, in Clone Wars, he's almost got a symbiotic relationship with the snake thing, so mm-hmm. revenge is almost off him. And I think Savage or Savage, uh, oppressed. Savage. I think oppressed has to come in like slice and dice the snake eel style, and then he kind of gets him back. And it's like, what's wrong with you, bro? You know, he's got the what's wrong with you, brother. But anyways, he so he does he ends up killing the snake and uh and, and gets him out of there and pulls him out. So where is I saying like 2625? So we probably around 2625. Yeah, 26. Yeah. yeah, and then gets him off there and uh so that's gonna yeah. be 26. So then, then after that. So after that, we, we see a lot in Clone Wars. Like they go through a lot of the Clone Wars things. Since now he's back with his brother, he gets healed. Uh, so that's going to be taking a couple of years. So we're going to be in the mid twenties at this point. Uh, and then you know what happens if you watch the Clone Wars? Him and Opress go, and they end up going to take over the clans, and they end up going to Mandalore and getting with Pre Vizsla and using Pre Vizsla and the Knight. Because you're right, he wants to. He go. He starts to go back on his. I'm going to go back on my revenge. Thing. Now, um, now wait, wait, you said he gets healed, but he, now does he correct me? Cause I, I might, this might be one of the areas where I'm wrong. Yeah. He, uh, uh Savage Press picks him up and they go back to mother Talzin and mother Talzin heals him yes, yep. and gives him the new, um, regular metal. set of metal legs, regular metals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just two. Um, and, and heals a lot of his inner body mind mind and, and all that yeah Soul that's a cool well. so that's what i'm saying yeah. probably was a year or so plus then he starts formulating his plan and all of a sudden he's back and he wants he wants revenge on obi-wan because obi-wan ended up putting him on the planet that's how he sees it okay he and also then, does have and they go to Mandalore, right yeah he's also got the sub thing that he's like but where the heck was my master and things so that's a subplot through the whole thing so then they right. go to Mandal- so yeah. then they go to and part of that is from mother talzin because Mother Talzin has started a, be- a begrudgingly vengeance with Palpatine over the fact of um, Palpatine kind of using, I don't, I don't know a better word, using Maul like a pawn. Not just Maul, when, but you got to remember Aja Ventress was actually a night sister. So it's yes. a combination of things with Dooku. She knows that she thought... Maul was going to be it. She knows that Dooku now is supposed to be with the rule too. By the way, she you think about it like this, really. She was originally supposed to be the first apprentice and mm-hmm. she was passed over. Mm-hmm. So, and she knows that. So like she, she, so now it's like four apprentices, but she thinks that the same thing is going to happen probably to Aja, which is, that's a whole nother rabbit hole that we can go right, down some right. other day. She, um, her mother bear is kicking in as she's like, all right, enough with abusing my children. We're going to have it out. I don't care if you're Palpatine. I will smack him. And no. Well, you got to remember, how this, works. You, you, this is the weird part about. And oh. this is also where she starts her plan. And I'll put that in quotes. Um, for her vengeance against Palpatine and start setting this forward. That is really what it is. And you got to remember, like, when her and Palps originally meet, debatable who was more powerful because he didn't know about the Wizards of the Dark Side of the Force or Wizardess or what it witches. Right. So, right, like, she witch. was using the wit, the magic of the Force. She was using Force and magic combined, which is a very interesting sub portion but that's something else too that we don't need to get into right now so back to the darth law darth maul timeline Sorry. this is why we always get off the darth maul timelines and everybody thinks it's crazy this is why it's hard yeah so she's he's got the original legs they're going out there so so darth maul now we're looking mid mid 20 bby right darth maul's like hey listen gonna get my revenge about obi this is how we're gonna do it he's got a girlfriend finds that out while he's taking over some of the pikes and stuff he gets like i need a bigger army Grabs the Death Watch Mandalorian. This is all in Clone Wars, the actual TV show. You can see it there. 
they, he eventually kills um, Bo Katana's sister uh, Satine, which you see Satine, also Clone yep. Wars. Then he goes on to kill Pre, and he ends up taking over the Death Watch. And this, this is, is where he comes into contact with the Dark Saber. Oh yeah, that is. You're right. This is where he comes into contact with the dark saber. You guys keep seeing me looking down. I literally feel like I'm in history class. I'm like mapping out a timeline here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's good because it it is so hard to follow each step on this one. Be, with and thank God we have Marco because I, I, if I don't have somebody like Marco to guide me through this, I get lost myself. No yeah, matter I, how much I've looked at it, no matter how much I've studied it, no matter how much it, this is why I want to do this show. This is why this show is important to me and I think to our fans. Yeah, and I'm not rolling my eyes, by the way. I am just, it takes a while to think of some of this stuff because it's like back there. So um, <laughs> I'm looking for it back in, back yeah. in this part. <laughs> back in there. Uh, and I'm not really doing a bad job with the pictures today. So all of a sudden, so he does that. Um, then what do we have after that? So what do we have after that? So now him, they're doing the death watch thing. We know most of this, so I'm not going to cover it. Cause I think everybody knows that clone wars portion of it. A couple points that uh, this eventually happens. Uh, Psycho Palps comes back. Ha, 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 ha. Palps and, finds out that he is running Mandalore and he has the um, the watch and he comes to uh, refresh my memory. He stops him because, oh, because he starts to do things that ruin the timeline for Palp to take over and build the Empire. Because he doesn't he, want because if you if he ends up taking the Mandalorians over and causing an issue, he wants it all about the Trade Federation mm -hmm. and the Republic so that that can be the main dispute. He doesn't want the Mandalorians to become an issue. Right. Death Watch takes over and the corruption that he's going to eventually need. Should we even go down this rabbit hole? He needs – like this is why he's always used the huts is because he needed a little, the black market to get some of the stuff in there. But that's neither here yet. That's neither here nor that in the Darth Maul timeline. So he comes out and he's like, hey, listen, uh, y'all want to have a little fun? And he gives you the double lifesaver thing. He does a little flippy flippy. He does a little kicky kicky. And then he backstabs. Oh, by the way, if you're going to shoot a movie and you're going to make it the uh, ninth one and you want to know how you stab somebody backwards with a lightsaber, you should probably watch this Clone Wars episode because that's how it's done. Yeah, that okay. is how um, it's done. So he ends up consult killing... Consult Filoni, man. Just consult Filoni. Yeah. So he, he ends up killing uh, Oppressor. Savage. By the way, we didn't get into it, but Savage ended up killing uh, uh, Feral, the other brother, Feral. The other brother. Yeah, he ends up killing the other brother. Um we didn't get into that, but I, the character is so irrelevant that it didn't matter. So he ends up killing him, and now he's dead. And then what do we get? We get electrically fried Darth Maul. Um, and this is a great scene. It's a great episode. Uh, I mean, I love all that Mandalorian uh, stuff that was happening there because it was filling a lot of holes and bringing a lot of good stuff that was going on. And you really felt like you could see how intense Dave was because when Satine got killed, like you're like, dang man, I thought it was we we're gonna have Obi Wan baby time, you know, like I thought he was gonna have a kid, and because that was that, that's another rabbit hole we don't need to go down to about Obi Wan's <laughs> children, but um, but yeah, I mean, like that's I don't know what you guys thought about that, but that's what I thought was gonna happen, and it didn't. And I thought the whole thing was great, and then you're like, wait, why is he get electrocuted? And he's like, I still have plans for you. Um, yeah, he and, he literally tells him, I'm not done with you. I'm not, like, yeah, I'm not done with still, you. I knew you were around this whole time. Uh, Palpa this is Palpatine talking to Maul. Um, yeah. and, and and he says, you know, I, you're still my pawn. I'm still using you. You're still part of the game. You just don't know it. Please yeah. just follow my lead. I won't kill you now because I need you. But so this is where we get into it because next is the only piece of uh legacy stuff that ended up becoming canon and you know what that is what is that anybody can son answer of Dathmere. son of death the son comic book Dathmere. from dark horse yep. yeah this, this is also where darth maul starts his vengeance towards the revenge of palpatine and feeling duped now he understands where his mother tells Tal was like hey we gotta watch it we're, we gotta get even this is, you know, Mama Bear time. We got to get revenge. And this is where Darth Maul, you kind of see it dawn on him. 
where he's like, I get what she was explaining to me now. I see why she wants revenge. We were, we're still pawns. No matter what we do, we're still being used as pawns. Yeah, so I had, a, I had a question, uh, a quick, quick yeah, one. That, um, knowing Clone Wars, and before we leave that, um, and moving into Son of Darth Mirror, is I always think about like Dave Filoni and the arc, right? When you guys, we talk about the story arc. And I always think about how are they going to control this, the, the local systems, right? And that was the whole idea of the smugglers and the huts and and uh, Crimson, Crimson Dawn, all of that. And that's what I always took when I was watching Clone Wars. Now, granted, I did not have the background of the comics. And I'm, and when you had said that it's one thing they pulled in the canon, is it really like Palpatine thinking he's going to have to control a lot of the galaxy um, as he builds the Empire? Was that what he was intending for Maul? That's the part I missed. Okay, so yeah, so this is it. So I think part of it was to keep them busy and to unify them because eventually what's going to happen is he needed them, he needs the syndicates to be unified. Uh, Darth Maul doesn't, it's unintentional, but Darth Maul does it and doesn't know that he's doing it. And Palp didn't, it wasn't like a direct order from Palpatine because we'll we'll talk about what happens next in Sun of Death Mirror that everybody always skips over. Everybody remembers some of the other juicy stuff, but people forget that Palpatine ends up imprisoning Darth Maul. I mean, he does the whole imprisonment, the whole, uh, this one right here, the whole, and then Dooku's over there giving him the shock treatment, and they're torturing him. Um, so Palp knows eventually that he's going to have to because he knows how everything works in, in the government, or, but he sees this, I think because he saw Darth Maul for how easy it was for him to get the syndicates together, that he was like, okay, I, I can control the black market now when I have to through the Empire. Um, I don't think it was originally part of his plans, but it was great because of how they did it and how he led into it. And if you actually remember, I think in the Clone Wars, the, the Pikes and them start talking back right as... Uh, yeah. And then they break up. Like, they kind of break up the syndicate. Yeah. Um, so then, Son of, Son of Death, Mirhelms, De uh, Dooku's there. Darth Maul tries to talk Dooku into turning on Palps. That whole thing. We know what happens. We know also that uh, at one point we get this little scene here where it's Cass and it's uh, Gar Saxton uh, coming through and, you know, uh, their first appearance is both two, not that, but um, they come through, save him from that. They break into the, uh, to the prison. Darth Maul. Yes, from the prison. Mm -hmm. Pull him out and then take him back and then he's back in charge of pretty much Death Watch. And then that's where we get to. Well, he tries to do the act after that. He kind of tries to do the 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 thing with Dooku, where he tries to talk him into that and everything like that, and um, get him off the island. Yeah, that doesn't work. He gets charged back. Then we get into season seven of Clone Wars, so it comes back to Clone Wars for a little bit. But this is like years later. So I mean, I know a lot of us saw it because of the animatomics or whatever. I always screw that up, and Mike's not here to and, fix me on whatever. Animatronics. Yeah. Um, but we thought it was going to be Son of Death Mirror because that would lead into Seven. Obviously, they did Bad Batch instead. Um, but yeah, so then that goes there. He goes into Seven. They capture the rest of the people in Seven, um, like Rook and then Gar Saxton. We know what happens. Well, Rebels. Either way, so we see what happens in Seven. Darth Maul's gone. So when we're looking at the end of Season Seven, that's 19 BBY. Okay. Now, see that um, now what you just described is in the end of Clone um, War season seven, the stuff they just Mir, because they have that big battle when he's trying to convince oh, Dooku, with the Dooku, yeah, and and that all that's a great, great little scene and read and everything. And in, in, in the end of that, when he's trying that's to another, that's a big battle where they don't win, that's another <laughs> defeat of Maul and the Watt. Yeah, yeah, they have to run away, yeah. And they have to run very, yeah. They kill almost everybody in the watch. Oh, yeah. So that's okay. Yeah. So I forget. Yeah, you're right. So what you're talking about is in Son of Death Mirror when they end up. So after he fails to turn Dooku, they end up going back to Death Mirror and they right. just scorch the earth. They kill Mother Townsend. They kill all the Night Sisters. Yep. He yep. loses the saber there. And then uh, what's her name? Rokas has to go and save him and pull him out of there. And he doesn't have the lightsaber anymore. 
Yeah, at the end of that, you're right. So that yeah, happens there. Exactly. Then after I'm that, not. yeah, after that, then they do the last season of Clone Wars, which just came out this last year or whatever right. on the thing. So in 2020, they came out with last Clone Wars. And then we see Darth Maul gets away, but everybody else is trapped at that point. That is 19 BBY because the Son of Death Mirror stuff was probably like 20, 2021, somewhere around there. 20, 20 BBY. 1920? 21. I think it's 1920 right in there. <laughs> It's got to be twenty. Yes, it's twenty or nineteen because it's reverse order. Bby, think about it like BBC. Yep, right, right, right. So it's like nineteen twenty because it is 20, nineteen. Yeah, nineteen. The 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 siege, which we've already talked about, how there's multiple sieges of Mandalore, but the last siege, the one you see in seven, uh, or civil wars. There's like thirteen mm -hmm. Mandalorian civil wars, but whatever that one. Uh, with him and Ahsoka on the little thing where they could have just cut the wire and yeah, done. Um, this is where the mixed media gets really interesting because I'm following you, like I'm looking through this, and if you think about it in our time, you know, with with Solo, I know we haven't got to Solo yet, but you know, you're watching Clone Wars, you get to the you get to, and you think Clone Wars is done, then you move into Rebels, um, and then the movie Solo comes out. Now you're jumping back to Clone Wars. This Wookie, you're not alone. I mean. Just yeah, think about, it's hard. Yeah, think about like kids who watch Star Wars. Yeah. You know, being a Lego guy and thinking about them, they probably aren't even considering this end to end timeline. But it is pretty tight, man. They they plan this out. This wasn't. Yeah, you know. but here's yeah. the one gap. So here's the one gap that you do get in it. So there there is a gap. So right here you got nineteen. Let's say eighteen, nineteen. It doesn't matter because you got the Galactic Empire coming around seventeen. Really sevens when they eight eight nine developed in or whatever. Um, because they start getting boots on grounds. The solo film takes place at seven, seven BBY. So you got 19 BBY, 18, 19. You got about 11 years there where you don't see any Darth Maul, where we really, I mean, there's some assumptions of what we, we think happened with Darth Maul and all, but eventually he takes, a, I mean, there is a little bit in the novels, a little bit of here, there mentions, mm -hmm. uh, but really the, he was, he ends up getting away from seven, which you're right. When was, when did solo come out? Like five years ago? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now they're already sevens already playing Kate back to that. Um, so, so would you say that in, in that timeline, there's just little snips? I would like to see him fill that timeline in at some point. Maybe I Comical, think they will. Maybe a show, maybe something I think would, I, would be cool. And I think it's a great opportunity for him. Yeah. So, I mean, like there, and there is stuff that obviously, can happen in there some things i mean like there's a certain pair of twins that are born during that period of time and no, like get out <laughs> yeah so twins and so, the and, and if i remember correctly they're split up they go in two different places they do but um <laughs> i don't think they're gonna there's i don't think they're gonna do that and uh, it, for for those that don't know what we're referencing here we're referencing the ob1 show i'm not quite sure they're gonna have Five action Darth Maul show up in an Obi Wan show. I mean, they, it could happen. It could happen time wise, but like if I don't. They think. don't. It's an it's an epic drop of the ball. If you don't recast Ray Park to come and fulfill the end, spoiler alert, of that role and and put the the Finn. Finn, like but this is why. This is why, up. This is why Finn. This is, this is why you, you know? can't do it. This like, is why you can't. The Finny, not F I N N. Because yeah. because you can't do that because we kind of do know. We kind we kind of know a little bit of what he's doing for the Crimson Dawn. So he's reassembling it, but that's not the only reason why. He's also trying to kind of because of his vision originally with the Sith Temple. He's trying to figure out the Sith holocron thing, and I'll tell you why we know this later. Right. But so seven, so that's where the solo thing comes in. So there is a gap between that, and that's a gap. So you got about a ten year, eleven year gap right there, where they can fill in some of the stuff. Some of it is that he's forming back the syndicate because you had to get him back on your side because they they came against you. The other portion is that he's trying to, he's hearing about this, doing the history of the Sith holocrons and trying to figure that out, and that plays out later. After that, the next place we see him after the, the end of the solo movie, where we get golden legs or silver legs coming out for whatever it is. Um, the next place we see him is in Rebels, and this is I this is what legs. Like I have shoes, man. <laughs> and this is what we're showing. It's him. He tries to make Ezra. He kind of. I don't know, man. I've heard this different ways. I took it a different way when I saw the saw the 
TV show originally, and I maybe I should go back and I've watched it a couple of times. Maybe I should go back and watch Rebels again. I'll do that at the end of the year like I normally do. But I thought that he wasn't trying to make him his apprentice. I thought he was just trying to use him because he needed to open up the holocrons and he needed somebody to do it. Either way, if he was using Ezra to do that or if he was trying to make Ezra his apprentice because he does refer to him in one episode as his soon-to-be apprentice. In more than one. Yeah, in he, more than one. Yeah, there's a couple episodes where he very much says, you're going to be mine, I'm, you're my new apprentice. And he really brings out a lot of the dark dark side of Ezra and but his I don't, anger. So that's in Rebels, and I don't know... Right, right. And by the way, right now is probably a good time. If you don't want to get stuff spoiled, you should probably shut it off and we'll give you the thumbs up when we're done. I the, the problem I have with that is the ending portion. Okay, because what ends up happening is the duel on Tatooine. And for those that don't know, by the way, the Holocron thing was about three BBY. So we're talking after Han Solo, there's a four year gap where we don't know much about uh Maul, we do know that he lost the Crimson, we, that he did lose the Crimson Dawn. So there is a little bit of timeline there you could do. Also, that could be during a... Uh, yes, an, some more during, fun story for sure. That could also be during some fun story that you could do live action because of what's going to happen next. We know what happens next. Darth um, Ezra ends up leading... He ends up having a vision and he ends up leading Darth Maul to Tatooine. Right. And when he leads into Tatooine, he pretty uh, much just leads by accident. Now, as you have said before, Star Wars repeats itself. Yeah. So this, when I saw this for the first time, it 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 reminded me a lot of the Dagobah, Luke Skywalker, um, tempted by the dark side, Ezra as with all Jedi chooses his path this because he does, he starts to yeah. get that anger. He starts to lean towards that dark side. And this again, just, just like you say, Marco, it does. It always repeats itself. Um, just like real life history. So those and, are just like the arc, right? I and, mean, that's, yeah. that's why I always saw the story arc was, was Ezra. I, I agree. I think that Darth Maul played that role for him. The temptation role, the duck, the yeah. anger role. Um, he yeah. definitely did. I mean, you see that play out, but those, I mean, and you do when like the Kanan, I don't want to review the whole, like word for word, do the whole storyline for rebels, mm -hmm. but like, you know, when he finds the holocron and Kanan's thing, sure. and then it leads, and then episodes later, that leads into the Darth Maul finding sure. Darth Maul, how, the Darth, how he found Darth Maul and how it was similar. Like, that's all great. Those two episodes, though, like there's game changing episodes and a lot of things. And I guess this one's a shout out to our boy McClay because he thinks that, um, Game of Thrones is actually history. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that stuff really happened, man. Hey, the not that nearby, right? Not you know. that it was based on based on it, like the War of Roses, or, or but uh, it actually. Yeah. Love I you, love you, love you, love you, love you, I, I got your back. I totally understand what you meant. Check and out the podcast if you guys aren't watching that. Watch it. Uh, it's hilarious. Um, get off the podcast. Yeah, that is so, a great reference. Anyways, <laughs> but like the, I bring that up because in Game of Thrones you had the Black Wedding. Like there's always been pivotal things, especially Red in sci-fi. <laughs> Red Wedding. Yeah, sorry. Red Wedding. You've, there's always these pinnacle, pinnacle, pinnacle points in, in sci-fi, Space Odyssey, anything of that genre where you have these portions and – you're just sitting on the edge of your seat and it's not cause like you don't know what's going to happen. You know, what's going to happen, yeah. but like you're, you're ready. Like it's a slow burn buildup. And those two episodes are a slow burn buildup. And what they're a slow burn buildup to is probably finally giving Darth Maul his due. Uh, cause they do this battle here. Here we go, guys. His peace. Yeah. So his, this is his end. So he, his, what's really cool is he comes with the, like the, the axe saber, which is awesome. Then it turns into two piece. It's like a fake of a cane or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He, he ends up finding uh, Obi-Wan on Tatooine and everything's going fine. Cause they're like, yeah, whatever. I hate you, whatever. And then he goes, Oh, you're not here for me. He says something to the effect of like, so you think it was like Ezra. He's like, yeah, Ezra is going to be my apprentice and da da da. He's like bragging. And he's like, Oh wait, no, Ezra has absolutely zero to do with this. Yes. You're protecting, and he's talking about Luke Skywalker. Yep. Yeah. Um, which it, it is, you know, you're you're protecting, you're you're protecting something, 
and then he says someone someone yeah, yeah. and he reaches out with the force and he and he feels luke and he feels you know and and he puts it together and watch the way it. that plays out so you good. have to watch it yeah, because so good. it is yeah. so this is again this is why i think they need to put this in an obi-wan show yeah. that when they do the obi-wan show i think this scene really speaks volumes so when we looking, could you do a flash forward could you like you know even if it's i don't know i was just thinking that the setup i was thinking the one thing missing for this was the obi-wan setup right the one thing missing from that rebels episode was you know all the way back to phantom menace till now i would love some in between where they met once more yeah yeah i mean you could i honestly you could we'll do an obi-wan show because we this is gonna break people's heart we did it and then we accidentally erased it but we'll do it again <laughs> and uh wasn't good enough and we don't want anything but the best it was so fan. good and it's never gonna be as good as that one was that one was so good and it's never it gonna be that good, good. We'll um, do it but we'll do it again. So what happens at the end here, obviously, is he actually finally kills him, kills him. Watch it. It's a great scene. There's him laying on him. You can tell it's the finale. It's And that's um, in 2 BBY. So that's that's done. Well, then why I took and, it as this is final final is because yeah. you know he can't leave there. If he leaves there, the gig is up. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And, they pretty might make it clear in the last. Like, yeah. The, and they make it clear. The way that Darth well, they, they did yeah. chop him in half and throw him down. <laughs> First, yeah. yeah, there's no shaft to throw him down this time. Yeah, you know no this shaft. is the end. This and is the end time, game. This time he left that saber in a little bit longer. And like, yeah, you know, he's holding him with the Sarlacc pit. You know, no one ever comes out of the Sarlacc pit. Yeah, huh? the, yeah right. <laughs> the breast stop. So, like, that's good. But, like, yeah, there's but he a couple. Gets his peace. He gets yeah. his, and he and you see his calm and his peace and his acceptance, and he's yeah. like. You know, I get it now. You see the I the 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 way they did it was so yeah, just brilliant, just perfect, man. You, on one hand, you hate to see Darth Maul gone. You hate I, I did because I'm I just love Maul and, and way Rick Park brought to it and just all of it. You know, the whole storyline, the way it brought him back, the multiple legs, the 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 Dathomir and then the rabbit hole of Dathomir and Aja Ventress and, and Mother Talzin and Savage Press and oh my gosh, great stuff. I love it, love it, love it. And when you they finally got it, a good arc. A when they bring us to the the fin, the, the fin. finale, <laughs> it just it answers everything and it's so accepting on a level of it's a good end you're yeah. you're comfortable with it you're accepting of it you're like you can see what transpires in his mind and how he's like you know this is how it had to play out and right. i'm okay with that a lot and of it i fought the whole way and i didn't understand it i didn't get it i was just mad and angry and stomping through life and i get it now i get it now that was the one thing that was awesome about it. He doesn't win, but he doesn't yeah. lose. Right. Like, right. He just gets it. And how you show, I mean, it was just amazing how they even showed it through like an animation thing. Like it was yeah. so, yeah. it was to incorporate that human aspect to an oh, animated so series. Well so well done. And I honestly, mean, if they brought him back, it would cheapen that. That was a perfect ending for him. So that I agree. That's it. He's yeah. They can't bring him back him. alive. You can't yeah. bring him back alive. Now no. what you what you can what you can do is like if you're shooting a scene and all of a sudden in the background you see his like ship and land in Tatooine at a certain point at a certain maybe Mos Espy or maybe Mos Eisley. Uh, either way, you could probably Mos Eisley because most you uh, could Espy. totally do a couple of scenes yeah. in an Obi Wan. Yeah. You know, show just like that, the Mandalorian on yeah. Disney Plus. Yeah, they're running it out. Well, they're I mean, it, if you, bigger, if you but, I mean, it just it could play. Yeah. You can do it. It's doable. Yeah. Yep. yeah, I think. Okay, 
You're not first cheapening off, his ending by doing setup for his ending. Maybe. Okay, right. first off, I, and this is what I'll always say to some of that stuff, and this is kind of going off the topic of the – but that's the end of – so that's the end of the time period. There's, we'll give you the times again where you can do it. You can do uh, nine, the 11 years between – between the end of season seven of Clone Wars mm -hmm. and Han Solo, mm -hmm. which doesn't play that well to Obi, but can play well, it can. But you can, you can play that yeah, to a that, couple of other. That's but what the I other think you're doing the comic books and stuff. That's yeah, why you can I fill that in the comic books, yeah. yeah, or a novel, yeah, perfect there. But then you've got those four years between Solo, which would be like seven BBY slash six BBY, all the way to like four slash three BBY. Which mm -hmm. are opened up, and we know that Obi Wan is on Tatooine. If this is what I, I don't think. By the way, I'm against doing this. I just want to let you know. Like, I don't think they should do this, but you um, could. But no, you could. I know, I know. But like, <laughs> but that's not. why I also hope that Cobb Vance <laughs> is there, not Boba, and they bring Boba and do the the end game with Boba that they did with. Sure. You know, but I think it's just clever, and I think that that it gives us something new, and it's something that we weren't expecting. Exactly like that end scene with Darth Maul. Like, we weren't expecting that. Like, how yeah. crazy was that end scene in Rebels? It was because it was... If we expect it, and maybe... I mean, that's it, man. Like, you guys know my opinion on some of the movies. And the movies where we were like, you're trying to play the fan service, and it's not really... Sure. Like, you're trying to give people what they wanted. It yeah, and, and I get it. It may not... it. I have faith in Ray Park as an actor, Ray Parker, um, just because he did such a good job, man. He really embodied that character. And I'd like to see him get a little bit more chops. I'd like to yeah. see him We're get a little bit more chops. Right? I don't know. And I love the story so much, the way they did it in Rebels. If you could redo that, Again, in a live action, I feel like you might hit another portion of the audience that's that. Let's face it. There's a lot of people out there that they don't watch animation because it's animation and they'll watch the live action. I think that's a big part of why the Mandalorian works. Um, and that's why I'd kind of like to see this this portion, just that little portion get done in a live action. To get those feels on that fin, you know, just. I think it might change though. Like when the solo movie came out, um, I would agree 100% because I think people, if you watched it in theater when it came out, like people were superly excited, like overly mm -hmm. crazily excited about how, like, there's two minutes of Darth Maul that they saw. Like, they were going nuts, like oh, screaming. Yeah. You couldn't even hear anything. It was so loud. Which is everyone, great. everyone that I talked to said they hated it except for the Darth Maul part. They were like, "Whoa, that was cool." Yeah, but I mean, do you I think know. they were? Um, I mean, they didn't think Solo was going to be, you know, the problem it was. You know, there was going to be more single singleton Star Wars movies. Mm -hmm. I almost felt like they were setting that up for something that they never got to pan out. And you know, with Rebels. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could talk a bit on a different video about maybe what we thought could have happened in there. Once again, that was one of the marketing blunders of Star Wars. You know, you don't put a movie in the middle of summer and then people debate, well, the first, yeah, I get all that. But in the modern era, you don't put one out in the summertime. And you also have to have more than three months marketing for any movie to be a success um, and maybe more than one trailer. Uh, yeah. And we can get into all that stuff one day. It's actually, I think people go back and watch that movie now and don't think it was such a train wreck. And I don't think it is either. I mean, and Hansel is my favorite Star Wars character of all time. So there's no way that anybody playing it besides Harrison Ford is going to be Han Solo. Um, with that being said, I forgive whatever the actor, he did a good enough job, I guess. Um, yeah. Because whatever I was doing, I was nitpicking on it anyways. And Glover was great. I did um, too, but he did a darn good job. Yeah, I'm just not gonna comment on his because I'll never. It'll sound like a I'm nitpicking, and I am because that's all I'm gonna do to that. Because like you, yeah. your favorite guy, sure, you can't do it. But what I'm saying with that is, when Mandalorian came out, I've heard more people now go back and like, hey, should I really watch Rebel? Should I really watch Clone Wars? And you could even see it by the numbers there, which also helped them, I think, because of quarantine on the Clone Wars reseason. Because after that, oh, yeah. I think everybody is now 
I mean, the sorry to say it, but with the thing going on, like it helped out Star Wars. It really has helped out Star Wars. Absolutely. Because everybody's looking for new stuff. And by the way, guess what they had? Oh yeah, we also got this cartoon for you guys to watch. Yeah. Well, people are trying to watch. I mean, people watch us on that video. I wouldn't watch us on that video. Just kidding. <laughs> but like, uh, no, I really wouldn't. But I would. Um, but but what I'm saying is like that's already getting there. So I don't think now that people, I think people are going to start crossing over. You can see how the Star Wars stuff is taking off and how the comic books are becoming more popular, even the novels, how they're becoming more popular. You can see how the whole whole timeline and canon is becoming a lot more popular. Yeah. I don't know if you have to go back and do that. And by the way. Yes, I know. Do. I know. This is why. This is why. So, uh, this is why. Because you think, you think in your heart, like, this is what I want to see. Guess what happens when they put something out there about Darth Maul and it's not what you want to see? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I get yeah. that. I, yeah, I mean, I'll be the that's first. The dark, one. I'll be the first the one to be like, and you had it so easy. You just messed it up. You know, I'll be the <laughs> first one to cry wolf. I'll be the first one upset. Well, well, that's. I mean, not to dwell on the the Obi Wan thing because I know it's just rumor territory. But that's why you could you could set up the Finn, right? You could yeah. you could just you know. And and what I love, and I know it's a different showrunner um, on Obi Wan. Don't the problem. Go ahead. I was just going to finish by saying, couldn't you just dabble in it, right? You fill in a little bit of it and see how it plays, and if they do it right, then do some more. If not, call um, it un Unfortunately, because of how the timeline plays out in Rebels, so if you're going to do it in the two years uh, prior to that, you have to remember, because of how Rebels played out when he found him through Ezra, he could yeah. only be in the background. He wouldn't That's actually. True. He'd have to have been there yep. for something else. Uh, the only other times you could put him in there, I really don't want to ruin it because I want to do yeah. the Obi show again. But like, there are some things you can do if you if the Obi show takes place uh, between nineteen. I'm not going to tell you how specific I think it should take place, but I'm going to tell you if it takes place between nineteen BBY and around the seven BBY. I keep there, checking my timeline. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. If no, it takes good. place in there, you could you could absolutely have a one off. Maul uh, touching some other characters that would be able to play into an Obi-Wan show. Uh, there is some stuff you could do because there's certain things that had happened in Tatooine in the past during that time that is not canon anymore, but has been referenced that it may have because like like at one point Obi-Wan sells, I'll just give this one away and it'll be in the video, if we ever reshoot it, it'll be in the video. At one point Obi-Wan becomes like a bodyguard for the Jawas. Um, from the Tuscan Raiders and like the huts have a bunch to do with it. So there could be a hut play on, uh, but do you really want to see that? I don't, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see or that. I like, I like how it be, ended. You know, with the, I, I, again, rabbit hole, a whole nother, the Obi-Wan show. We'll redo it. I'll make it. I'll make everyone get back in and we will redo it guys. <laughs> this is my promise to you. Right, they we'll could that. do. And you didn't have Lakey, so <laughs> right. it would only be better. The Obi Wan journals. They could do a flashback of of a clip of the Darth Maul, and, and I think that would satisfy me, and that would still satisfy without having to reenact or okay. do the whole thing and just have a small clip. How about yeah. this? How about this? Yeah. How about uh, don't watch the Obi Wan series when it comes out, and I'll uh, tape it for you. And I'll insert a clip of just Darth Maul on it with legs, and then just send it out to you, so the rest of it doesn't get ruined. I mean, hey, look, dude, I know it's a, I know he's a great character. Obviously, I love him. My son loves him. We got the, you know, the ruby masks. We had to get the two different. We had to get the two different uh, because he actually broke. Which is the one? Okay, so we had to get this one because this was his original one. Broke the arm off of it, so then sent out the friends to find it. Didn't realize how expensive. This one is in a box because I bought it for five dollars, <laughs> not knowing how expensive it was. Uh, by the way, I do have another one in the box, but while I was setting the, ball, the toys balls out there, then they got this one, which is a crazy non breakable yeah, one. So yeah. out of for a year, makes oh, he's got the kung fu chop. Oh, kung yeah. fu chop. Yeah. Went back and finally found this loose for four times what I paid for the one in the box, <laughs> and then found the boxed one for half the price of that one. Um, uh, God, you know, this. We I, love our mall, man. I mean, yeah, yeah people love mall. I and love price, it too. The price on the toys, the price on the on the masks, the price on 
all of that reflect how much people love Maul. Yeah, so this, if you look at this, you see how it's kind of smushed still? Yeah, that was at the bottom of a $5 bin, and I don't think the person knew that. So then, like, because it ain't a $5 mask. Good deal on that one, though. But now I got to get the head to put it on. Either way, what I'm saying is, like, that's all great. I I just don't – it's not that I'm not a mall fan, because I am, but, like, I don't want him to – I don't want him to add, because I don't want him to mess it up. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, it's yeah. so easy at this point. That – that rebels thing was so good. And yeah. then when you did bring them back the one time, you're just like, Hey, we knew this happened already. We're just going to give it back to you. The only other time I want to see him again is if you do son of death mirror, if you do son of death mirror, sure, man, bring him back. But if you don't, I really don't want to see him, man. I'll go back. But then again, you, do, I, I watched, Clone Wars and Rebels every year, so I get to relive it every single year. You know what I mean? Like, it's awesome. Well, like a really good pre-recorded show, you can always edit it out if it doesn't work. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but they and, won't do that. And I think the creative team for Disney Plus has earned kind of our trust, right? I think if they're going to do it, they do it right. They do it subtly. Um, so I'm I'm, I'm going to wait and see. I am. I'm, I'm like, I, I don't think they'll screw it up and who knows? They might not bring them back at all. But uh, but I know we've said that many times in the past. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they're going to bring them back. I, I mean, like I said, unless they do for Sun, I hope they don't. I mean, yeah. you can edit stuff. That's true. But then they did, apparently forgot how to edit number nine. So I'll <laughs> say fill in that 11-year gap. Fill in that four spot. Yeah, but how would you bring like it back? Off? Do it. Do it again. Do oh. it over. Keep doing Dathomir. Son of Dathomir. I'd want to see that. Um, you can't shove enough Darth Maul and Darth Mir in my life, and okay, so then add one, on with Aja. <laughs> which one? Yeah, oh, which one? I still am waiting for the Dark Disciples. That's for more than one reason. Um, the uh, son. Of, but listen, if this is it, if we're just throwing stuff up at the wall and hoping it sticks, which one would you rather have? And let's play. Which one would you rather have? Would you rather have them show up in an Obi Wan show, or would you rather the next one off show that they do, um, like it looked like they were planning on doing, was doing a, a Son of Death Mirror, the eleven year, or not Son of Death Mirror, Death Mirror, uh, Darth Maul, the eleven year gap story, the Crimson Dawn story that well, hasn't been ever done. I, I, I mean, that's an easy one. To, if in 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 uh, pure fantasy. I want the I want the mall show. I want the Son of Death Mirror. But yeah, I mean that's it. You'd want the mall show and then this or the Son of Death Mirror show. You'd want one of those two. And honestly, you can do they've left it open for you to do both of those. And both will be more marketable. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, look, look at so and this is and, and that's that's what I was gonna say is if I have to choose between um A and B. I'm going to have to go with C as in both and give it all to me. Yes. Hey, try it on Obi-Wan. Option C. Do not try it on Obi-Wan. Option C. You guys, I think I'm just foretelling the disaster that could occur. Yes. Do, well, I, mean, I, hope it, yeah. I hope it doesn't, but there's a lot of room for error if you screw yeah, that There up. is. There is. And, and by the way, very Good valid point. Last is time I checked, it, it could make it worse. Last time I checked, our boys Dave and uh, what's his name and Johnny aren't taking over the live action Obi Wan overview yet. No. You know, so Lot, lots of room for error. Lots of room for yeah. error is all yep. I'm going to say on that. You, yep. you know, that's all I'm going to say for that one. So I mean, yes, in fantasy, it'd be great if they always came up and your character keeps going. But remember this. Like, do remember this before you get it. And I know I'm going to get killed for this because everybody only remembers the good times. But maybe you should go back and read every single, uh, what do they call it now, legacy, non-canon, whatever, Bubble Fett storyline. Everyone, go back and read. Because there are some that are just horrid. Yes. And that's what you get. Like, if you want more and yeah. more, you can go back and do that. Or some yep. of the Luke stories. Yeah. Some of those Luke yeah. stories were ridiculous, man. Yeah, they were just they were terrible. Bad. You're yeah. squeezing a rock. Yeah. yeah. Even when you're doing the Han and the, the kids, but then they redid it better. I'm not going to get into all that. You, it could be worse. Let me just put it that way. You keep asking for it. They'll give it to you if they think they can sell it to you. Sure. But they'll sell it. They can sell it to you wrapped up in a turd sandwich sandwich. I mean, turd yeah. salad sandwich. So well, like, I'm just going to throw this last thing out there is it's, I'm going to say it for Ray Park, right? Because 
he can't play, I guess you could with CGI in that, but he only got his two minutes. He was in Phantom Menace, got his two minutes at the end of Solo. I would like to see him just reprise the character even one more time. Yeah. In the, throwing kind of fantasy aside, that would be that would be great. Um, but uh, I'm with else? you. Did they I suck don't... him in somewhere? They stuck him in somewhere, did they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, in Solo. He, he, he did Solo. Solo. Besides Solo, didn't they sneak him in somewhere? I thought they snuck him in somewhere. Anyways, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, that was it. Just that, um, you know, a, a subtle nod to him would be fine. That's yeah. probably the most realistic way we'd see Maul again. I mean, outside of comics and, and that. So. Yeah. Well, I think they could do Crimson. I think they could do Crimson Dawn. You could easily put Crimson Dawn together, especially if Obi-Wan's a hit. If Obi-Wan's yep. a hit, especially if they get that, that Cassian thing, mm -hmm. which. And, and uh, okay. That and maybe a shot as the whole. Highest. Obi Wan's an easy one because there's there's stuff you can do with Obi Wan, and we'll get into yeah. Obi Wan. That Cassian one can either be the greatest hit or the biggest sandwich that you've ever yeah. had, just a yeah. wet sandwich. Because you're gonna yeah. try to do Spy, uh, Spy Odyssey, Fantasy, <laughs> Star Wars. Like, what are you sci-fi? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, it can go south real quick. Yeah, it can go south real quick. So, just hope those two things do well. Yep. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed for for the Dathomir run of of a story, um, and that's what I really I want. That. You know, I, I'd, I'd like to see all of it. You know, Darth Maul, Aja, Mother Talzin, Mother Talzin live. I've oh, loved that. Dude, that'd be creepy. You would have dude. some. <laughs> that would be good. That First would... off, if you get a live Aja in that, then that means you can do Dark Disciple. So I'm all for that. Like, look. Hey, go a little. You know, hard PG thirteen, man. I'm all in. Yeah. 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 I mean, that one's going to be fun, and you get to bring back so many. Well, how? Wait. I don't think you keep bringing palps back anyways. You might as well. You can just CGI that thing, and then you got Dooku, and sure, you can bring it, bring the crew back together. Oh my! And then you get Savage. You get uh, Opr no, because he's dead already, right? Yeah, he's ah, dead well, already. you can tell just some of those gaps and some of that line. In yeah, there. you can answer. At eleven you years, get, man, you get Goat's nice sister at one point, and like well, you zombie. mentioned Gator Castle. I mean, they're gonna do a Lego Christmas special this year. Do a do a Halloween once yeah. a year one off story. Yeah, yeah. Dathomir Halloween. Yeah. Dathomir's Halloween would be on Disney money. That'd be cool. Money. That'd be cool. That would that be really would cool. Be cool. Or do it all in Legos, then you'll make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, one more thing with the Lego thing because we got him on. Let's give him the best set to have uh, Darth Maul in. And what set is that? Do we remember? Yeah, it's this set this right is here. Mandalorian Speeder. This is when you get full Robo Legs Darth Maul. Uh, set number seven five zero two two. You actually, they still have a Robo Leg Maul later. But he just has regular old minifigure legs. This mall is the coolest because he's got full blown um, robo legs. You see the full robo um, legs. But in use, this goes for just a mere hundred and fifty dollars. So you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, and dark saber. Yeah. Dark saber. Dark, 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 dark saber right there. That's pretty yep. key. And if you don't have one hundred and fifty dollars, you can go to um, uh, Bricklink and get them for about twenty bucks if you want him and the dark saber. So. Oh, yeah, you're saying do the dark saber, not the actual set. But also that brings up a great opportunity. We know that they like to re, especially with uh, years and everything, they like to re-roll out popular sets that became expensive. Yeah. Th that'd be perfect. Do a little yeah. Halloween rollout. And you could get a little another Lego set that's doing. Merchandising, man. Yeah. There's opportunities. If you could get it. They, they should hire us. <laughs> They should hire you guys. I'm done with this. All right. Hey, listen, I hope the timeline wasn't too boring. I, I we tried to make it more exciting. We didn't even try to make it more exciting. It just, if you watch our shows, you know the rails usually go off at one point or another. This one, the rails went off a little bit, but we brought it back on track. Hey, this was educational, guys. I literally yeah. was taking notes. I kept looking off camera. I was like checking the timeline. This, so. So well, as long as you think it adds up, I mean, I look, this and, is what, what I can do. And I, and I hope it helped. I hope it, helps clarify a lot of the timeline for everybody. It, it definitely helps to discuss it in a panel and, and talk about it a little more in depth and clear some of it in my mind um, and, and see a, a good start to finish and a lot of that in between. Um, I highly suggest 
doing a deep dive on your own and watching and following the storyline, the rebels, the, the um, clone wars, the, the, the stories in there and, and mother Talzin and look them up and, and son of death mirror, the comics. Um, so dive into those please. And enjoy get the rebels, get the duel, the duels on great. Tatooine thing. It's a great ending piece. Guys, uh, also in the comments, you want a different. If you guys would like the timeline, if you want somebody else's timeline, we can do it. Uh, it's that's not rare. This is a common question among friends of mine. The, these guys, other friends too, that you see on the show, they're always asking about them, and I'm always starting it in text and ending it uh, screaming through a telephone pole at one point, uh, <laughs> like, "Hey, well, no, no, you got it wrong." Listen, listen. So uh, it's the, one of the reasons I join you guys. I love looking across the different media. Right, yeah. you've got the comic book, TV, animation, movies. You know, that's a lot to keep track of. And that's what makes this one hard because yeah, it's it it's through ten different flavors of media. Yeah. So uh, there you go. That's that one. If you want a different one, different character, let us know. If you don't, we're probably gonna do one anyway. So hopefully, we didn't ruin everything for you. If we did, <laughs> spoiler right. alert! It's about time for a spoiler alert. That's right. Maybe that part of Star Wars wasn't for you. Um, Solo, I think. Please it's go turn. over and force push that like button. Go over there and force grab that subscribe and then pull out and saber smash that bell so you can see the most handsome faces this side of the galaxy and may the force be with you always. 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 <laughs>